turn it over to Ted. He's going to take the controls and uh, show some perplexity magic. Thank you, Don. So not only do I want to show off perplexity, but I'm actually using the perplexity made Comet browser and it's a Gentic artificial intelligence browser. Pretty much it's exactly the same as Google Chrome. It's actually built on Chromium. So I was able to really just simply download all of my bookmarks from Chrome. So it was, it's been a super easy transition. After an hour of using it, a couple of weeks ago, a few weeks ago, I transitioned immediately. And sometimes I noticed that it uses less computer memory as well. So that's another plus. But this is the Comet browser. For those that only have the free version, um, you kind of have to get invited to it. But if you want to pay the $200 a month, then you get the Comet browser instantly. But they are, they're rolling out new invites quickly, so I'm sure to get off the wait list won't take too much time. So continuing on, that's just an introduction of Comet. Now I'm in Comet, and pretty much instead of Google, it defaults to perplexity. You have, so like let's just show, for example, you open a tab, and it defaults to perplexity. You have this whole browser here. Let's say I'm on market search, and I'll definitely show some features in a second. The assistance right here, you pull that up. It's also options A on Mac. I'm not sure the equivalent on Windows right now, but it's one of those specialty keys and that allows you to open and close that as well. Um, so first feature I wanna showcase is more logistics, not in stocks. And I'll go over the, the stock related uh, features later. For example, let's say you're watching this podcast and you heard Don and Dan talk about RVAB and rebar. It sounds like jargon to you. We also have seen us on Twitter and briefly remember that Don has talked about RVAB, rebar, and our process on a YouTube video, but you don't remember exactly which one. So I'm going to prompt it. Find the YouTube videos where Don, Don Vanden, Vanden Board talks about Revere's process, RVAB, and rebar. And so it's going to scrape the internet, search around. You can see it's already looking at YouTube channels, Twitter. This is the one with uh, Richard Moglin. But let's say you just look at a quick little summary. Go down here. Um, you're looking at this, and you remember that. Let's just say you remember this is the one that you watched before or you saw come across your screen. So you click this YouTube video, and this is one of our podcasts. But the one I was looking for, let's see which one this is. This is another Don Vandenborg video, um, but pretty much you can find all the videos Don has been in and spoke about or mentioned RVAB or rebar. If you're not satisfied and another one's not showing up, you can prompt it, ask for another deeper search for, and be more specific. So the one in my head that I've come across is, I remember Don was on a video with Webby, but I'm not exactly sure, or Mike Webster, Webby's his nickname, but I can't remember exactly where to find it. So I'm going to ask it. Um, Find the video with Mike Webster and Don talking, discussing Revere's process. And a lot of times with AI, sometimes the first prompt might not give you exactly what you want. A previous prompt, I was just testing it before this, did give me exactly what I wanted, but sometimes it just doesn't. So I see a Mike Webster and Don one here. This is a clip. Um, and then Let's see, it pulled up Mike Webster's channel and then you can go find Don's video. Another one, hang out with Don, this two hour, 40 minute clip. So I'm gonna pull up YouTube now. And let's say you're in a rush. It's two hours, 40 minutes. And I just want a quick summary. So I go, I pull up the assistant and I just press summarize this video and let's see what it gives me. Yeah, that's amazing. It's truly amazing. Just summarize the video, guest Don Vandenborg, investment philosophy, heavily influenced by William O'Neill's can slim principles. He advocates market timing based on technical signals, actively managing risk and avoid Wall Street's conflicted stay invested narrative. See how that's pretty cool. You can see portfolio structure, Revere Asset Management, about 50% indexes, SPLG, SSO, UPRO adjusted to market conditions, 50% eight to 12 leading growth stocks chosen for sector leadership and liquidity. I mean, it's pretty am amazing. No use of margin. Don uses a custom R, RVAB. So instantly you know this video is about RVAB and now you can 
dig through it and find exactly the place Don talks about it. Rick's management, transparency, accountability, putting out nightly videos, weekly podcasts like this one that we're on right now that you're watching. And just re really cool lessons and recommendations for investors, beginners, intermediate traders, professionals, and just a lot more about what we do. Market timing, 21 EMA, 50 day. You, you get the point. I'm not going to go through this whole search right here. Oh, look at the music. I'm looking at the music. I Led Zeppelin. I like it. So that, that's a really cool feature. With Lexi. You can pretty much talk to YouTube videos now. Like you couldn't that's before. Insane. Summarize them. <laughs> you can talk to YouTube videos now. So this is the first kind of feature I wanted to show how you can find these YouTube videos. Um, this, this AI agent goes on the internet and finds exactly for you, which video you want to see. And then wow. you can pull it up and quickly summarize it. So that's the first use case I've used before. So let's get rid of this. Get rid of this as well. Now I'm on market search here. Let's say Don, me, Todd, Connor, anyone on the team is just screening stocks. And oh, you come across this name A Lab. You see it's made this huge move. It's gapped up. But it's like, who knows what this thing is, what they do, why it went up. So I'm going to come back on assistant here. And this is where it gets really cool. When you press slash, they, they create this shortcut list. I've created a shortcut called S. D desk so stock description and pretty much this is the prompt i'll quick i'll slowly show it just so those can screenshot it and maybe we can include this in the podcast description um dan after this so okay. those who have comment and perplexity can use it so let's just slowly go through it i said what does this ticker slash company do and i didn't even specify it because it knows on the screen it sees your screen he said, first, explain what the company does in maximum two sentences. Be clear and direct. Of course, we want to first get a quick gist. That's why I have that there. Second, sometimes the company could just be filled with jargon. Who even knows what the company does, even after reading the description? So I said, second, explain it to me like I'm 12 years old. Super simple with relatable examples and analogies. Um, personally, for me, I customize it this way because I learn through examples and analogies. And that's just how I've always liked to think. So that's really helpful, helpful for me. And this is fully customizable. So you can take this prompt and change it however you wish. Next, then give the standard professional business description, industry, product services, customers, competitors. And this is key because then you'll know um, what their competitors are. And if it's in a group theme, you can immediately then ask, pull up all the tickers and companies that are publicly traded and build a watch list that way too. Competitive advantage, their moat, any notable metrics or achievements. And then I also had list tickers of competitors if publicly traded and then keep both descriptions cl clear and concise. So the thing with AI is it can't just read your mind. Maybe in the future it will when we have Elon's like near link chips in our brains, <laughs> but right now it can't. So you really have to be explicit in exactly what you want. Like if Don's giving me instructions, I can't read Don's mind. So he's going to tell me exactly what he wants to see from me. And as a human or for an AI, then it can actually execute the task for you. And then another piece, afterwards, you get a gist of the company. I said, also, why did this stock make a big move recently? Show all major news and earnings events for the past three months in a table, and I give it instructions on what to put in the table. So now let's try this out. Let's see. S. And then it's getting to work right now. Just imagine how long this would take you to get a description, then figure out what the company does in simple terms, products, services it offers, competitors, its moat, um, and a whole timetable of what the company does. So here, here's what it's come up with, and it's still loading right now. You can see it quickly does all of this for you. And it's still going. And right now, it's done. So pretty much, it's created a little excerpt for you. Oh, I scrolled too far back two sentence business description i'll just let it i'll let this sit here for a second so people can quickly skim and see the output for example some people might not even know what data centers are or cloud companies uh, even artificial intelligence could be a, a jargon that a more mainstream person might not know so then here's the explain like i'm 12 and i find these super helpful Thousands of computers that need to talk to each other super fast. That's what big tech companies use for things like AI and internet. 
Astera Labs built special traffic directors and fast lanes that help all those computers share information quickly, like building highways for computer data so cool stuff like chatbots and streams. Streaming can work smoothly. I mean, when I see that, it's so much e easier to conceptualize um, some of these semiconductor companies and tech companies that can be quite complicated and confusing. I'm gonna we'll continue scrolling down. This is more professional business description, industries, product services, customers. You can see Amazon, Google, Microsoft. You see those big customers. It's, it's always a plus. Competitive advantage. You can see deep partnerships with NVIDIA for AI infrastructure. Um, more here, notable metrics, gives you revenues, net income, estimated revenue for Q3, gives you market caps, and then competitors, Credo, Avgo, Marvell, LL, LSCC, VRT, and all the tickers, and you can quickly just put that into a watch list. Why did it make a big move recently? We always wanna, you don't always need to know why something makes a big move, but it helps with conviction when price confirms with fundamentals and macro. So. That's why I have this in a prompt as well. And to me, I like tables. So I asked it to put it into a table. You can ask it just for bullet points if you want. You can see chronological order, August 5th, August 6th, 6th, 7th, 7th. You can just see it covered the earnings report, analyst upgrades, insider selling, consensus raised fiscal year revenue. Um, so this is really nice. And then you get a summary and then a professional summary as well at the end. So that is another use case I have. Again, you press slash and then you can make as many shortcuts as you want. And some of these are uh, Comet Perplexity's default ones like Teach Me Comet, which you can use and then it can teach you what your best use cases are. And the cool thing is with Comet, it starts to learn based off the user and what, you, and what your preferences are, what tabs you've opened before, what you've searched up before in its history. So that Teach Me Comet, uh, shortcut will have perplexity give you some advice on some of the best use cases for you personally as well so that is really cool as well um, let's say you want a deeper uh, explanation of a labs earnings reports i'm going to show this feature as well in perplexity if you go to spaces if you go to spaces you can see you can create different areas for different use cases. So I have one called earnings review. And this prompt I kind of took from someone that I, I saw on Twitter, and I read through it just to make sure I liked it. And here it is, we can probably also include this in the description, it's not too much. But just quickly, you're a hedge fund analyst, you're reviewing earnings, create a report based on the recent earnings when I give you a ticker, output should have all of this company ticker quarter report date, and then all the metrics growth and margins call highlights ongoing concerns, um, even notes, potential quotes that uh, management talked about in the earnings call as well. And the reason perplexity, I think, as of right now is the best for finance is because they actually have a dedicated finance space too. And really, it's really cool. Market company, earnings, and for example, let's just say something else, Eli Lilly, it gives you like the results, and a quick analysis summary of the trans the earnings transcript. And while the earnings call is going on, it has a live transcript that downloads as they talk. And this is because they have a licensing deal with Quarter. And quickly, you can find the documents as well. Quarterly report, earnings release, slides, everything. And what's cool is, let's say you pull up the slides, then again, you can talk to the slides with the assistant on the side too. So I don't wanna go off on too much of a tangent. Um, there was a thing I wanted to show you. So let's go back to A-Lab on Market Search. I'm going to do a lab at, and that's how you bring up the spaces. And I'm going to do earnings review. And this immediately will put a lab into that perplexity spaces and then execute the prompt. Um, hold on a minute. Let's go over here. A lab at earnings review. You can see it's done exactly what I instructed and it's giving you a quick earnings review on what a lab did call highlights ongoing concerns risks risk and opportunities and then some special notes as well so that is one more use case and that's this earnings review i have my custom instructions right here 
like I said, we can include that. And then finally, one more I wanted to share because there's just so many use cases um, that it would take forever. And maybe I can do a separate video for our YouTube channel going deeper into some of these tools as well. Um, but one more I want to talk about. I know Coreweave has been a recent IPO and they report earnings next week. And I'm curious about what I should expect out of the earnings report. So I'm going to be Coreweave at earnings, not review, but earnings prep. And I have an earnings prep spaces with a prompt as well, custom instructions. And now it spits this out. Gives me the quick little price chart, which is pretty cool. And here's the earnings preview checklist that it's giving me. This is the, the estimates that it's looking for. Um, latest company guidance review, the trend, guidance versus Wall Street, performance last quarter, key events and news since last report. You can see we didn't know about this. Nine billion core weave um, acquisition in July. Expansion looks six billion dollar investment in new data center in Pennsylvania. New financing notes. It's just really cool. Insider trades, analyst ratings. And then it even goes through the last transcript concerns and themes. So and now it gives it puts it in a summary table. I mean, for a human to do this, I mean, Don, how long how long would you say this would take you? <laughs> that that's a that's four hours worth of work easily. Dive in into all that and, and the the old way with Google clicking the links, following through. You know, one search leads to another search, and it's it's just mind boggling the the amount of information that can be brought to your fingertips uh, if you know how to ask for it. So, how how would this be different in perplexity if you weren't using the Comet browser? So, is there a substantial what, difference? What I'm, what I'm using here is perplexity, so it wouldn't be different. Comet just has okay. the assistant on the side for you, and it can also um, have this voice assistant here too. Just something cool. It's like high perplexity. Can you open my Gmail tab? All right. The voice sometimes glitches off, so still needs a little bit of work. But um, and then there's like a summary button too. And there's nothing really much going on in market search, but those are kind of just the extra features done in Comet. It's just more accessible. You can do the options A and quickly pull that up right next to instead of having to open a browser every time you want to prompt something. But what you like, if you just have perplexity alone, not the browser, this is what you would see. Um, yeah, this it. is what you would see. And that's probably that, that probably looks familiar to you in your yeah. perplexity browser. So, yeah, that's what I use all the time. But uh, the, those uh, setting up those um, pre canned, the way the way to tell it to give you the info is mm -hmm. uh, so much more beneficial than just starting from scratch. Exactly. Awesome. And that's Ed. where you can create like the spaces to have the custom instructions. And then you can just quickly do like at whatever, and then the ticker and write a prompt. Um, so that, that is a high level overview, even though the segment is already on average longer than most of my segments and our segments on the podcast. But I mean, AI is something every day I kind of wake up with this like weird feeling in my stomach that I'm always going to get left behind, but maybe having that feeling means I won't get left behind. <laughs> and, like a lot of things I showed to me, like sometimes I like wonder myself, like, am I missing things? I always think that. And I'm sometimes like taking a step back, like even these use cases, not being here two years ago, it's like, it's like humans kind of just accept these new innovations as normal now. And I'm always looking for the next thing, like trying to find something groundbreaking and that's not coming, but I think these these use cases add up, and over time, you might not even notice it, but your your productivity increases a lot, um, or at least just saves you a lot of time. So this is common perplexity, and right now I think it is the best for our asset management business and finance, just because perplexity kind of is going towards that area, and they have proprietary data with licensing deals with Quarter, Coinbase, and they've downloaded all of like the SEC filings as well. So this is a tool we use in-house. Get 1% better every day and you'll never fall behind.